Hey everybody, Did it really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur. And we are back on Leon again, uh, our second round visiting each night to finish filling up the grace for them so we can save the land. And uh, yeah, so this is our, uh, we're starting with Leon, the, the second round again. So we were just having a walk together as we talked, doing our little Ravier battle thing. And we talked about dogs, which he was so adorable speaking about. And then we're about to talk about his family. And, and uh, as I noted before in one of the other videos, that I had had a misunderstanding uh, with the translator before. And it's actually supposed to be he is from a royal family, not a loyal so, yeah, because in the beginning, you know, when they were talking about him being from, you know, when Ageho was saying something about, don't mistake what I mean by, I thought she was saying a loyal family. And, uh, you know, because Japanese, they don't have difference between L's and R's. So, um, that's why we ended up with that little, little mistake slipping by for a long time. Yeah, he is supposed to be from a royal family. Although that means I still don't really quite understand Ageha's comment in the beginning. Maybe she was just talking about, you know, even though he's from a royal family, don't really expect him to act like that. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about his family life. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I heard that you are from a known royal family in Pavone. Royal families are obligated to perform duties and responsibilities, so they are usually not allowed to act so freely, right? Well, in general, you're right. But I hate being bound by formal things like that. You only live once, and I don't want anything about my life to be determined by where I was born. But if you act freely, doesn't it bother the people around you sometimes? Especially if you are in a position which includes duties and responsibilities. I won't argue with you if you think I shirked my responsibilities. But I wanted to find a place that would suit me best. I don't think it's right for someone to be forced to live their lives a certain way just because of the way they were born. Weren't you criticized by the people around you? Of course, they did until I became sick. But I won't change my mind no matter what, even though I know I'm different from others. His way is totally opposite from my own, but... Quite interesting or irresponsible, and we're going with quite interesting. Even though I'm not supposed to agree with you because of my own position, I think that is quite an interesting way of thinking. Is something the matter? No, I just felt relieved because I was prepared. Prepared? I thought you would totally disagree, so to reduce the damage beforehand... He gets negative in a very different way. So I'm happy that you understood me at least. But you must fulfill the duties and obligations as the knight, okay? Oh, leave that to me. I won't break a promise once I've made it. I'm the knight to protect you. That will never change. Yes, I hope so. But, when I'm talking to you, I feel like I understand more about you than I did in the beginning. Yes, same here. That was something I wouldn't have found out if I kept pushing you. That's right. It's not such a bad feeling to be understood by someone. Hey, Violet. What is it? Now that you've spent a day with me, how do you feel about me now? Has anything changed? Anything that relates to me in your mind? His eyes are full of excitement. Unfortunately, nothing has changed as you expected. Oh, okay. But when I talk to you like this, I get to see more of you. I think that is a very wonderful thing. Right? So, just like this, you will see more of me. Yes, to understand more about you as the knight. 
I would love to talk to you more. Leon, do you feel the same? Yes. Well, it's not that bad a start. Love is supposed to grow slowly and steadily. The true story starts now. I can do even better. <laughs> he's just not getting it. Although, he's gonna win us over. These words... I better pretend I didn't hear anything. You won the Revia. Time flies when I'm talking to you. Are you not tired? Well... I'm not so tired, but I feel like resting for a moment. Oh, okay. Then I know the perfect place for that. This place is just perfect for resting indeed. Right? Nice and airy. Wait here a moment. I'll bring you something good. Something good? Yep. Be good and stay right here. Leon told me that and went off to the bush nearby. What is this noise? I wonder what he meant by something good. Should I check on him? But he told me to wait here. Feeling nervous, I looked at the bushes where Leon had gone. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. See here. What? What he handed me was one perfectly ripened apple. There are apple trees inside the bush. I found them when I came here before. The taste is rich and sweet. Isn't it good to eat sweets when you're tired? As he said, this apple has a nice sweet scent that makes me feel relaxed. Thank you. What a nice aroma. Anyway, try some. I can guarantee it's delicious. Yes, but... We have no knife to peel the skin or forks to eat it with. I looked at him as I was thinking that in my head. Hmm? Oh, it's so good. This is so ripe. What's wrong? You're not going to eat it? Am I supposed to eat it like this? Huh? We looked blankly at each other. Uh, uh, okay. Leon seemed to grasp the situation immediately. That's right. You are a princess. You're not supposed to eat like this. I don't know why, but I felt frustrated hearing that from Leon. Sorry, we're here. I'll get a knife and fork from somewhere. Uh, hold on. Well, since we don't have them, I'd like to try your way. Try? You mean biting into the apple? You don't have to try if you don't want to. No, I want to try it. It looks delicious the way you eat it. I think it's necessary to share the same feeling to understand each other. I don't think it's that serious of a matter. Well, anyway, can you eat it? Yes. I held the apple with both hands, take a breath, and feeling a bit nervous, I gather my courage. First of all, what should I do? Can't you bite it normally? Just normal, okay. I fearfully bought the apple close to my mouth. But when I tried to bite it, my teeth just slipped on the skin. W once more. I tried again, but I couldn't even scratch the surface. This is so hard. Ah, oh, the life of a princess. <laughs> this is just kind of funny I've never heard of or thought of having trouble figuring out how to eat an apple if you've never... I had to eat it that way before. 
<laughs> you have to bite it a little harder. Try with all your strength, and drive your teeth into it to pierce it. I understand. Try your best, okay? Um... As Leon told me, I used all my strength and pierced it with my teeth. As I bit into the apple, a gentle sweetness filled my mouth. So delicious. You did it! Your first time biting an apple! It went successfully! Yes, thank you, Leon. It's nothing to thank me for. But your one bite is so small. If you keep eating like this, will you ever be able to finish the whole apple? But they do look quite cute here. <laughs> that is just so funny to have this ordeal of learning how to eat an apple <laughs> that isn't pre-peeled and cut for you. <laughs> oh man, Leon taught her how to eat an apple. Alright, well, I hope to see you for the rest of Leon's second visit, or perhaps some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.